Hello everyone, my name is Sayyid Amr Faruqi and I am from Afghanistan. Today I will be talking briefly about some of my intercultural experiences in other cultures and countries. Growing up, I have spent most of my life in other countries as an immigrant. I have traveled to countries like Pakistan, India, Saudi Arabia, and I am currently living in the United Arab Emirates. But if I were to speak about all these countries, we will be here all day. Therefore, I will only talk about the countries that have left a major impact on me, the United Arab Emirates and Sri Lanka. And without further ado, let's begin. My father lived in Sri Lanka due to the nature of his profession. However, my mother wanted all of us to live together in the same country, therefore we migrated together there from Pakistan. My first impression of Sri Lanka was very positive. The streets were bustling with lush greenery and there were exotic animals all around us. From chimpanzees on coconut trees, and parrots and macaws flying through the air. You could even see hawks and bald eagles in the distance. I did not know many Sri Lankan locals in the country, and my experiences in the school I attended were not pleasant. It was the first time I experienced being bullied, so suffice to say I did not like going there. But the country itself was very beautiful, and I would definitely recommend my friends and relatives to visit it at least once in their lives. When it comes to the people of Sri Lanka, they mainly spoke Tamil and some other dialects that I was not familiar with. So there was definitely some language barriers to overcome. But my interactions with them were always positive. I would certainly like to visit the country again sometime in the future. After living in Sri Lanka for four years, my mother decided that living in the United Arab Emirates might be better, since we already had relatives there and it was a Muslim country. Therefore, it would be better for all of us if we lived there for the foreseeable future. UAE was the opposite of Sri Lanka. The environment was barren and empty, and the air was hot and humid, especially during the summer. I remember vividly the feeling of stepping out of the plane, and a very hot gust of wind just rushes to your face. It was unpleasant at first, but eventually I got used to it. The first thing we did was visit my relatives who had lived there for most of their lives. When we arrived and greeted them, I noticed their children speaking in a very peculiar language. It was the Arabic language and up until then I had never heard of it spoken anywhere else before. I was completely enamored by it, but at the same time I became very self-conscious when people spoke it around me and assumed that everyone was saying mean things about me, even though I didn't speak the language. That's when I learned that learning another language can be proven very useful should I need to speak to someone else from the same country. When I attended school in the United Arab Emirates, most of the students were from countries I had previously visited from Pakistan, India, and even my home country of Afghanistan. Therefore, I made friends very quickly and had a fun time during my school years.